Hey there everyone, this is Dabadi, back with the Let's Play of JDC Games. Now there's a, first off I want to say, there's a couple reasons why it took me so long to do this video. First thing was I needed a break because of I got over pneumonia and the doctor said I can't be getting angry a lot and playing video games makes me angry. Second thing is I let myself get a game over last time because I got so mad I just stopped caring in a sense. And because it happened, I had to redo Koopa Cave, Arctic Abyss, and the normal exit which leads to Scolding Stronghold, and that took about a good four hours. Now, you're saying, no, maybe I should stop since I just did all that, and I'm still a little frustrated, but I mean, the show must go on, so I'm looking forward for that most epic death montage. I got me a Fire Flower and 99 Lives, and we'll see if I go through them all. I think, you know, it's like since, um... I'm not really giving anyone anything for this fact that I'm not getting anywhere. I really hope at least these death montages make you laugh. That way I feel like I'm doing something. Because I know whenever I watch someone fail and struggle, like Raukau or whatever, I really just start laughing. Though I shouldn't, but I think it's funny. So maybe you guys will as well. Oh, and also, whenever I get mad and feel like raging, I've decided I just won't say anything. Because I can do that. And it's not that hard for me to, uh, not... It's just the fact that when I talk and I'm really, really pissed off is when I begin to rage. But I just decided not to talk whenever I get that point. Which won't matter, because in that point I'll be given death montages anyway. So, that's a thing, I suppose. Oh, uh, from now on I'm just gonna cut. I'm not gonna show it unless I die or I'm at the boss again. Because I don't... There's no point to the show on the same level twice. Also, I don't know, remember who made this level. I actually never knew. But, uh, you know, j like with the Midnight Madness and the Second World 2 Castle and the level right after the Second World 2 Castle, just because I can get mad at it doesn't mean it's a good level. I, it is a really good level. It's just the boss is what gave me hell is all. And if you guys don't mind, I'm not gonna really say anything. I need concentration beyond the beyond, so to say. <sighs> well, that happened. You know, it's weird to think that I would have beaten that boss, or beaten that stage a million times over if it wasn't for that boss. The strange thing enough as well is that there's actually a secret. My very first time, I tried to ignore the net by even, not even half my uh, figure nowhere near the up button. I get it. Just pretend that the net is not there. Now let's do Frostbite Fortress. <clears throat> Please do not be one of those levels. I'm like all shaky. I probably shouldn't even do this, but I feel like I'm in a good mood overall. This level is amazing. Now, 
Huh, that's weird. You can go through some of the things. I don't know who made this level, but it is magnificent. Oh, wow. I always like these sort of levels, and this one just looks incredible. The atmosphere is just awesome, and I've never seen the castle tiles that used that way before. Mixed with ghost house bricks, and there's windows in the ground, I guess. So we got ball and chains everywhere, spikes, death spikes, wanting to gash Mario's face open. And we also have our fair share of turtles. It's so weird because this game, at like every single stage, has like their share of turtles and whatnot. But in the original, there was no turtles in any of the castle, you know. I don't know, I guess if maybe you include the net Koopas, there were. This music is just so amazing. I wanna- who composed this? It doesn't sound- Man, every single time I start talking, it seems. What I was saying before, though, is the music sounds like it was custom made. And not, uh, ripped or, you know, whatever you want to call that from some game. Torn, ripped from a game? Um, what the, what the hell is what's the word I'm looking for? Death, everybody. Man, I really hope this isn't another level that's void from power-ups. Jesus Christ, man. Well, I gotta say, I, some things went against my expectations. Like, it's not the ice physics that are killing me like I originally thought. It's the, you know, the things that were intended to kill you. I mean, ah, shoot. While this commentary is probably lackluster as all hell, I just can't maintain a conversation or topic if I die at the start of every topic. I would also like to take this moment to mention, I forgot, so they told me to, but I forgot who made the, every time, the forest frolic level. Whoever made that, you are going to be my best friend for life. I don't remember who made that. It's, I know it's one of three people, but regardless, that is the best life farming spot in this game. And frankly, I don't know if I could have sort of sustained, uh, sustained playing this hack if I would have had uh, redone, you know, the same levels over and over and over again for every single game over I got five times. Like, I probably wouldn't have been able to try the levels again, because I'm not going to use save states no matter what, or rewinds. So, like, you know, I would have got a game over, like, on, say, Koopa Cave, and then finally, hey, I beat Koopa Cave, and then I would have got a game over on Arctic Abyss, and then I have to... And then I'd have to redo Koopa Cave and Arctic Abyss, and then it would just keep doing that, and... You're just my best friend, whoever made that level. You're just so awesome. Ah, shit. You know what's funny? I can't get past the same six screens or so. And... It's the same thing that's, that's killing me. But the weird thing is, I'm not getting upset. I guess because this music is so... Relaxing and whatnot. Don't die. I think I might have already said this before, but I hope this is not... A level void of power-ups. Or it has some power-ups. I'm assuming it's going to be on top of the roof over there, and I'll have to ride the thwomp up there. So the gimmick here is spike death. Literally, everywhere you go is spikes. Even the... main sprites are the spiky balls. I'm also seeing that multi-code coin pattern or gimmick thing again. I think that's the gimmick with the hack. I, don't, I think I might even use that in my solar sector level. By the way, if anyone was curious when I said... That I liked every single level in this hack except for one. That was the one. It was Solar Sector. I can't stand my own level. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. But, I'm trying to think. Oh, come on. Well, we got from 99 lives to 41. So, that's talk about depletion, I suppose. Now, I'm going to take a ride on the Thwomp train. And see if there's anything worth note. Yes! I got me a freaking Toad Skull. Also known as a mushroom. Okay, so that's a thing. I don't really know. I guess I'll jump over here for now. Oh, no. No, no, no. Don't do this. And, you know, I think there, another reason why I'm not so angry is because I've learned. Hey, I don't really... Okay, now I'm starting to get a little angry. No, no, the main thing I'm worried about at this point in time, however, is just the boss. Like, I don't want to die another, uh, I don't know, like, 45 times fighting some guy named, I don't know, Icehead or something. I don't know, Pyro, maybe his icy counterpart would be, like, Crystal. I don't, I have no idea. I'm just making shit up. Oh, crap. Okay, don't, I'm just gonna wait, because that ball in... 
No, at least I'm not ha having trouble getting over here anymore. <coughs> oh, wait, I, I made it back over here. Okay, just... Okay, I made it past the first sub-level. Let's get in the door. And... Oh, boy. I don't know, maybe in the sense of the Fortress Twins, or we do call that, the Ice and Fire, or whatever. Maybe uh, the Fire Fortress, its level was easy, but its boss was hard. And then this boss will be easy, but the Fortress itself will be hard. I think that'd be a pretty okay balance. I guess I just hope for at this point in time that this level has a midway point. I wonder if there's... I wonder if something is up there or not. It looks like something could be up there, otherwise it's just aesthetically aesthetic, I take it. I'm gonna try to get up there, maybe something, I don't... Okay, something I, I gotta say I don't like... ...is a lot of levels in this hack tend to do that... ...you know that... ...that awkward error, you know, enemy placement to where the players, uh, or the... Level designers like, hey, this is the this is the spot where the player is most likely to be at this point in time. So then they'll put an enemy either there or on its path to going there, and it's like, well, that's kind of a dick move. 